This is a DeWalt 8 volt gyroscopic screwdriver. DCF 680N1. DeWalt gyroscopic screwdriver, 8 volt max lithium ion. This one, it comes with the drill itself or the gyroscopic screwdriver, one battery, and one one hour charger. Got our instructions, we all know what we do with those. We have one very small, very, very, very small, eight volt max lithium ion battery. You can see how big that is. It's, it's very tiny and it weighs almost nothing. Um, yeah, we can get rid of that cap, I'll use that again. So we'll set that down. We have the one hour charger, Ooh, sorry. We have the one hour charger. This charger is a DCB095. We'll jump back to the battery real quick. Um, the battery itself is DCB080. Um, my camera's not gonna focus on that, but that's what it is. Then we have the gyroscopic screwdriver itself. Plastic. Cover. So there's the screwdriver. There is a piece of cardboard in the bag. And this, see this right here? This is also in the bag. This little piece of plastic and metal, which I'm glad to see, is the bit retainer. I am, I am, I think I am making an upgrade from a different drill, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, the reason I waited so long to buy this specific drill for electrical work is because when I looked at it at the store, it didn't have anywhere to store the bits. I looked around and I thought maybe I could wrap something around here to, to store the bits on. But when I went online and did the reviews, I saw that this clip, which snaps onto the top here, like that, was on some of the drills. Now, without this, in my opinion, for electrical work, this is almost useless because I want to be able to quickly change out the bits from a Phillips to a flathead to the torque style or the square drive uh, that you really commonly find with electrical work. Um, so without this, I don't feel that this tool is worth it and I haven't even tried using it yet. So I'm very glad to see that this came with this. I couldn't determine from anything I read or saw online whether or not this came with this. Very glad to see that it did. So the bit, the the build feels really good. I mean, it feels good in the hand. Um, it's got the, the clutch on the front. So max and then all the way down to one. Um, the bit release obviously pulls forward to release the bits, which I like. The trigger itself. So the trigger engages and then I haven't ever used this. However, it should be a twist and it will start to spin in that direction. Uh, it does have a trigger lock. I got the battery charged up. I put it on the charger for one hour. So this is really designed for electrical work, like a plug-in here or a breaker, right? Or all the other type of electrical work working inside the panels, on the plugs. Uh, this is really designed to work on the terminals on the sides of this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and try this thing out here, right? So. Seems to work really well, to be honest with you. I would, I'm, I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. Uh, the size is phenomenal. This is significantly smaller than the tool I have been using. You see some other reviews out there where guys are out there driving screws into wood and uh, they're just disappointed in this thing. It's, this is not designed 
to drive screws into wood. This would be a great little tool for around the house. I mean, this would be awesome, you know, throw it in your, the, the tool bag you might keep in the kitchen or in the laundry room or wherever you keep your general tool bag in your house. It's a very small compact. You're able to carry a couple extra bits. Uh, it has the battery indicator on the top. I think I'm gonna like the, I think I'm gonna like that gy gyroscopic function. This worked really well. I, I had a really high expectation for this and, and it met those expectations. Um, I can see that the pull and the twist takes a little bit to get used to, uh, but the reviews I read online made it seem like it would take a long time to get used to. And to be honest with you, I, this is the very first time I've ever used it. And it was very, very easy to use. It seems to work pretty well. I'm very happy with the gyroscopic function. Um, the clutch seems to work pretty good. I've left it on max this whole time and, and it seems to have plenty of torque for uh, utilizing for electrical work. Um, once I put a couple dabs of WD-40 inside of the tip, the bits seem to be releasing perfectly each time. Um, no problems at all. I did knock the bit holder off of the top of the case of the drill a couple of times while I was using it. I think that a couple dabs of Gorilla Glue or Super Glue to hold that in place uh, will probably go a long way. We'll see. Uh, the overall size of the drill is, is much smaller than the drill I was using and I like it. It fits in my hand really well. It's got the, the shape for your fingers. So you're, you're designed to grab this thing and, and use it, you know. Um, and this trigger is really designed to be used with these fingers versus your trigger finger. Uh, the telescope or the, the, the swivel function, I think a lot of folks probably get used to using it this way and they use it that way all the time. And I can see how that would be beneficial. I, I don't find that I used that function on this drill. However, this was a lot longer. I think I'll use it in this configuration more times than not. I also store it in my belt this way um, so that this part of the, the grip uh, engages with the pocket on my belt. I used to use this hoop on my belt to store my drill. Uh, this is a lot more slender and it fits in there really well and it just sits nicely. Um, the downside to this is, is they put the bit holder on the top which kind of creates this area where it engages on your pouch. So when you go to slide this thing in, it's not as smooth. I found that I wasn't able to utilize the loop, the hammer loop, like I normally did with my uh, drill, my old one. Currently, I'm just storing it on the inside of the pouch and it's small enough to, to fit in there perfectly. Uh, I might just keep using it like that. The only downside I've found is that trying to grab the pliers it seems to work pretty well. And, and, and like I said, this is something I probably just get used to. Anybody that does electrical work or any kind of construction work at all knows that you just kind of get used to something and you like it the way it is. You don't want to change. Uh, in this case, I find that switching to something lighter, smaller, more compact is worth the change uh, and worth the time to get adjusted to it. So I'm going to keep using it, trying it out. But overall, I have to give it a thumbs up for right now. I, I, think it's, I think it's well built. I think the idea of the gyroscopic function is pretty cool and it seems to work pretty well. I, it eliminates having to switch back and from reverse to forward all the time. The size is really the benefit in my opinion. Uh, this one does have the clutch and the light. If you get the model, pay attention because there's certain models that only come in this configuration. It only is straight. It's not swivelable. Does not have the clutch um, built in. So make sure you get the one that you really want. I, I suspect you'll want this one. This was $79.99, I believe. Yes, $79.99 on Amazon, two-day shipping. I did buy two. This is uh, another one. It's going to be for a gift for someone. 
let's talk about downsides real quick. Positioning the bits here is sort of a downfall. I realize that there's not much room down here anymore to reposition them. I don't have a better thought, to be honest, with where to position these. So this seems to be the only place, but it interferes with how I put it in my pouch. But I think I can work through that. I'm not a big fan of the battery thing. That's just my opinion. I don't, I don't see the point in it. The swivel function, for the way I use it, I don't, I don't think it's necessary. The fact that it doesn't swivel both ways, um, so it will not go, right? It won't go the other way. It only goes the one way. I understand why they do that. However, we have the technology these days. Dewall has a technology to make this so that it will swivel 360. Um, probably would cost more, but I don't know. I suspect I'll get used to that fact that it swivels the one way. It's nice to have the clutch feature. I don't personally find that I use the clutch very much uh, on any drill, to be honest with you. And I've never really used it on the other drill that I am not gonna be using for electrical work anymore. This will probably just end up in the house in my tool bag. Yeah, I really can't think of much bad about this thing, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, the sensitivity of the trigger and the tiny, small lock switch, I'm not a big fan of this configuration. The, the sensitivity of the trigger, they should have put a little more spring, de a little more stiffer spring detent in there. It feels nice in your hand, but when you put it in your pouch, I have, I've found that it engaged a few different times. And there's no, there's no easy way to, in one hand, to engage the lock because it's recessed inside the handle. You should have been able to do that one-handed, right? I mean, that's really what the professionals or people to do this stuff a lot really are looking for. This de this safety detent to stop the trigger from engaging should be able to be engaged with the same hand you're operating the drill with. Um, I realize that a lot of times they don't put that type of thought into it, but reality is that's how we all use the drill. So that, I think, should be better thought out uh, position differently or maybe a side lock like the forward reverse mechanism is on most drills up here maybe or rethink the trigger maybe you make the spring detent a little more stiff so that it doesn't engage when it's put into a tool bag overall give it a thumbs up really happy with it i'm not going to go off and drive a bunch of screws into a piece of two by four it just doesn't this is not what this tool is made for so I'm not gonna to try to review it in that capacity. I suspect that if in a pinch you needed to drive one or two screws with this because it was just super convenient because you had it in your hand, it would do it. I mean, there's videos online that show it doing it, but uh, the videos online show about after about seven or eight screws that it just, the battery just dies. This tool is made for uh, electrical type work, small screws, terminal screws, things where you're not putting a huge amount of torque uh, over the duration of the time the screw's being driven in, right? Or the, or the uh, machine screw is really what this is all about, right? The machine screw takes very little effort to drive it in until it gets right to the point where it tightens up and then this has plenty of torque to tighten it to the uh, required spec. I think that's about all I've got to say about this drill. Really happy with it overall. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. I hope you got something out of how I use this and, and, and my thoughts about it so far. Um, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It always helps me out and maybe check out I'll probably do a, a link to my grinder review video by Dewalt and, and probably my garage build, probably the uh, 220 electrical series over here. I, I think that's probably what's gonna be up in that corner. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Whew, right here, yeah, that always helps. Thanks for watching, I hope you got something out of this.